There is no cookie cutter gift that I'm aware of that is best for everyone. So that's why in today's video, I'm going to be going over client gifts for different situations and different types of clients. So that regardless of the type of client, you've got something to give them that will be memorable and keep you top of mind forever. These gifts are in no order, so be sure to stay until the end so that you don't miss anything. Buying your first home is a huge milestone and a thoughtful gift will go a very long way here. So for the category of best gift idea for a first time home buyer, I'm going with the house cleaning. I know this seems very simple and like, hey, why is this for a first time home buyer? That is generally because a first time home buyer has absolutely no idea what it's going to take after they move all of their stuff in and they've got boxes and they've been ripping things up and there's just stuff everywhere. So giving a certificate for a home cleaning after they are already moved in is a phenomenal gift. And not just for first time home buyers either. This can actually help just about anybody, which is why it's first on my list because it is going to help out the most amount of people. My suggestion is that you pay for this up front so they've got kind of a certificate and then you just let them know, hey, listen, when all the dust settles and all the movement is done, you're going to be tired, you're going to be done, you're going to be ready. So here is a little coupon to help clean your house. Be sure not to gift this to somebody that has a little bit of a cleaning ADHD sort of personality because they're likely not going to use it. What I really like about this gift is that it continues to make the entire experience memorable even after the close. It might be three days after they move in or it might be three weeks, but either way they're going to be thinking of you as they make that call to schedule it as that person is there cleaning and then afterwards when their house is nice and spotless. The next up is for our clients with furry friends, especially if their kind of world revolves around their furry friends. What a great gift to give that shows them that you've been listening to them the entire time and generally something that sits in the home forever and always makes them think of you. For me, my favorite closing gift for our four-legged friends is a custom water and food bowl. Now you can get these all over Etsy. They come in different sizes and different things. They even have insulated water bowls, which is super cool because most homeowners don't generally go that far with their pets. Of course, if you aren't sure if they've got a custom set of bowls for their pets already, another great option is something like a subscription, like a bark box, and I'm sure cats have the same thing. Next up is for our clients with really young kids. Moving into a new home is already difficult. Moving with toddlers or really young children is even more difficult. So why not make a kid friendly themed gift that makes the entire process a little bit smoother and helps them with something that they might not have been thinking about yet. That is why my favorite gift for clients with really young kids is child proofing stuff for the home. These are things that'll lock the cabinets up, keep them out of the knife drawer, and just overall keep the children safe. This is something that our clients with young kids are not generally thinking about. And a lot of times they're moving into a house for the first time, or at least the first one with their family, and they've already spent a bunch of money on closing costs and down payments and things like that. So doing this little push to make their home feel a little bit safer for their little ones is always going to be a good idea and it's gonna keep you top of mind because every time they're having a little bit of trouble opening up that little cabinet, they're gonna think, well, my realtor gave me this and even though it's a pain in the butt right now, I'm really glad that he did because it's helping keep my child safe. If you are enjoying this list, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. I do a ton of tips and tricks for realtors that might really help you out. Next up is also for parents and it is for our clients that have kids that are mainly in the tween age or young teenagers even. One of the best things that you can do is make sure that the children have a space of their own. Tweens can be tricky to shop for, but a well-chosen gift can really go a long way and get them excited about their space. And if they're excited about their space and it creates a positive experience for everybody because they're not upset with their hormones and everything going on, then that is a great closing gift. And for me personally, one of my favorite ones to do are custom names over their door. This is not only going to create a little bit of excitement in the tween and make it feel like their space is their own, but it's also going to create a bonding moment as they're putting it up together. How do they put it up there? Do they put it a little cockeyed? Do they make it straight? Which room are they choosing? It makes the entire experience pretty fun. And most importantly, every time your clients walk down the hall and they see those, they know that they came from you, even if it's subtle. When your clients have older kids, it's all about helping them make that house feel like a home. And the best way to do that is to create an experience for them and a family bonding event. So for me, my favorite gift for clients with older kids is game night stuff. I like to grab five or six different games, 
put them together in a nice bag, and then hand it all to them so that they have a nice experience right when they move in. After all, everything is done, everybody's moved in, and the kid wants to start hiding away because it's a new environment, bring them back out to the family dining table, have a game night, and have some fun. This will also give a pretty good bonding experience for the mother and father, you know, the husband or wife, what have you, or anybody that's in the household because they just went through a pretty stressful endeavor. Next on our list is for the client that is an entertainer, particularly if they like outside entertaining. One of the most popular gifts for this is a barbecue set or a custom grilling set or something like that. I'm really not that big of a fan of that because a lot of real estate agents put their own stuff on it. And let's be completely honest, generally the gifts that you get like this are a little bit on the cheaper side. They start rusting out pretty early and they don't really last forever. That's why my favorite gift for somebody that likes outside entertaining is a cup set. This is an old Viking game that they kind of tailored. It used to be done with axes, but now you can buy them with just wooden rods. It's a little big mix of axe throwing with almost like chess. There's a little bit of a kind of strategy involved. This is a great yard sign game to play, whether they're going to have a bunch of friends over or whether they got a bunch of kids or just one kid. It doesn't really matter. It's a great bonding experience and you're almost guaranteed that they don't already have a cup set unless, well, maybe they're Icelandic or something like that. But for the most part, most people haven't heard of this game and it is far, far underutilized or it's just not something that a lot of people buy. Out of all the games that I've purchased for my personal yard, it is my favorite. It is such a blast to play. I just really like it. And speaking of liking, if you guys don't mind hitting that like button, that little thumbs up for me, it really helps us out. The next category we have is the best practical gift. This is great for the client that's already pretty practical and you can't really figure them out. These are always good gifts to get. My favorite are fire extinguishers, but you can also do carbon monoxide and new fire alarms. A lot of times homes don't come with a carbon monoxide alarm and a lot of times the fire extinguishers are a little bit older. You can get all-in-ones and the fire extinguishers are about 20 bucks and so are the carbon monoxide slash fire alarm. So it's a fairly inexpensive gift. You can generally keep it under 100 bucks depending on the size of the home and how many fire alarms they have. If you live in an area with hurricanes, like I do here in the panhandle of Florida, then hurricane kits are also a really good thing to give. You can find hurricane kits all over the internet. You can just Google it and buy a bunch of those things, put it in a cool little custom bag if you want, and then gift it to them at closing. And for our next category, it's going to be custom personalized gifts. And when I say personalized, I don't mean personalized with your information on it. As you're probably noticing, I'm not a really big fan of having your stuff all over everything. It is wildly disingenuous. Giving them a gift that they can continue to use over and over, but that doesn't scream, hey, I'm trying to market to you, is a really good idea. And a personalized gift is no different. It demonstrates that you understand your client's personal preferences and it's a cute little touch. And what's really cool about these is that a lot of people will come over to their house, see them and go, hey, that's pretty cool. Where'd you get those? And then generally that is followed up with, well, my real estate professional gave them to me. Now, a personalized gift is a little bit difficult to just put, hey, this is the best one, but I'm gonna throw up a couple of examples on the screen of some that I really like. I really enjoy things that are kind of universal to everybody and that most people don't already have. These are things like custom coasters, custom towels, and of course, the dreaded cutting board that I was mentioning. Keep in mind that these are tailored around the client, not around your branding. And of course, with all the Etsy shops and local shops that you probably have in your city, there are a ton of people doing this, which keeps costs down low. This next category is one of my all-time favorites that I don't do enough, but the few times I have done it, it's been pretty interesting. Creative closing gifts really make your client feel valued, it's very special to them, and helps really build that relationship. For me, my favorite creative gift is a custom puzzle. I'm not making this up. You can do this in a multitude of ways. You can take the closing photo of them standing in front of the house with their nice little closing picture, or you can take their favorite photo or just a great picture of the outside of the house. Then you get it custom made on Etsy. Just make sure that you let them know that you don't have a closing gift for them right then, but you do have something coming in the mail and that it just took a little bit because it was hyper personalized. If you don't want to do any of those, you can also do a puzzle of the city or one of those cool map things that just show their surrounding areas. 
there are a bunch of little ideas to do with this. But what I really like about it is, first off, it gets them engaged. And if they have a family or a spouse, they can get together and do it. And then, of course, they can create that memory forever. Instead of just doing a cool sketch of the house or, you know, a picture of the house or a picture of their closing gift inside of a frame, this kind of wraps all of that into one and makes it very personalized with an experience attached onto it. We are working our way through this list, so stick around. You do not want to miss the last couple that we have. In fact, the second to last idea that I have here is probably my favorite. Now, the next topic is the best unique gift. This is one of my favorites for people that I'm not really 100% sure what I want, but I know I want something classy, and I know I want to guarantee that they don't have these items that I'm about to gift them. The gift idea for this one is anything from teakandtwine.com. Funny story about Teak and Twine, they were actually local here to my area once upon a time. I used to get a ton of my closing gifts from them, and then they went absolutely bonkers and blew up their business. So now they have so many options. You can really click through their website and see a ton of different things. What's really cool about these is they have a whole category called Gifts for Home. These are all done very, very well. They're in a beautiful, beautiful box, beautiful presentation. You can grab several of them in advance, keep them in your office, and gift them as needed. So for the category of best automated gifts, my personal favorite and the one I still use to this day, we've been using for about three years, is Client Giant. You can go to clientgiant.com. The one that we like to use is $99 per client per year. As soon as it gets done, as soon as we close, our admin throws it into the system and it gifts on them four different gifts throughout the entire year. These are all completely general gifts that are good for just about anybody. One is a throw for the back of a couch. Another one might be something like a card game for the family. There are a bunch of different things on here and they're always changing. So if you keep somebody on this, they're not going to receive the same gift twice. And for those of you looking to spend a little bit more money, you can actually do a gift a month instead of one gift every quarter. For me and the agents on my team, this is a standard process. It goes to just about everybody, whether they're a buyer still living in the area or a seller moving away. It's a nice gesture. You are going to need their follow-on address if they are a seller, so keep that in mind. Next up is for clients that are new to the area. It's the first time purchasing this area. A thoughtful gift that kind of gets them to know the area and gets them out and about to different things is always a pretty good idea and one that generally creates lasting memories. So for this one, you do have to do a little bit of legwork and find your favorite spots, but I like to go to my favorite spots and get gift cards for them, whether it's restaurants, whether it's tickets for events going on, it doesn't really matter. Pick your favorite stuff, get a bunch of them in the area or work a deal with the person. Maybe it's the owner of the restaurant or something like that. If they've got gift cards, great, but sometimes you can work it out with the owner and just say, hey, you know, if I push my clients over to you, can you give a little bit of a discount, something like that. It's not something I've ever tried personally, but I do know other agents that do that with pretty good success. Then you can give them an entire basket of these different little things, or maybe it's just a couple of things, especially if it's a little bit more expensive of an event. Now, we can't forget about the sellers who are moving away. So that's what this next category is going to be about. For people who are gonna be moving away, sometimes a heartfelt reminder of the place that they're leaving is a really good gift and something that is gonna stick with them for quite a while. My favorite thing to do for this is a coffee table book, like a big, thick coffee table book with a ton of pictures about the local area that they are leaving. Now, I know some of you are going, well, I live in a small town. They don't really make that for me. I don't live in a big city. I gotcha. Me too, okay? So what you can do for this is go to something like Shutterfly and build a book for this, and then you can just recreate that entire book. So for us, it's something about the entire Emerald Coast because that's where we're at in Florida. So it's like Panama City to Pensacola and everything in between. If you know Destin, Florida, that's what we do. And sometimes it's just the Destin, Florida book because I am able to find those. But if it's one of the smaller towns that they're from, we definitely like to create a custom book. This way, when they move to their next area, they've got a nice reminder there. When they're sitting on the couch, I don't really have anything going on. They've got a few minutes or a guest comes over and they see this beautiful book of our beautiful beaches and they open it and start going through it. It sparks conversation, which again, keeps us top of mind. And I know that a lot of you might be thinking, well, they've already moved away, so there's not a whole lot they can do for us. That's not necessarily true. A lot of the referrals that I get are from sellers who have already moved and sometimes for several months after they've moved because they're still thinking about me and they still know people here that might need my services. 
Okay, the next topic is probably the best one on this list. Although it's not my favorite, that one comes right at the end. This one is an absolute powerhouse to make sure that you get a big chunk of the referral business from your clients, friends, and family. For this one, what you're going to do is a housewarming party or a going away party if there's sellers moving away. The tactics that you use in this are very important. You can't just throw them a party and bring some pizza and beer. You can, and that's still effective. There are a couple of things you need to ensure that you're doing. Number one, get a guest list from your client. Actually ask them a few days before closing or a week before closing or even during the buyer or seller's consult, hey, do you have a list of people that would want to go to a going away party or that would want to go to a housewarming party that live here in the area? Now you get them to give you all of the contact information, name and phone number, name, phone number, and email is what we get. We get all three. And then you send email invites and then you make sure you call each and every single one of them. Do not make this phone call or email about you. It is 100% for the client. I can't stress this enough. If you make it about you, it's going to seem disingenuous and you're not going to be near as effective with this. And at the end of the day, it is about them. It's really not about you. The next most important thing that you need to make sure you do is show up to the party. You need to be there, even if it's just for 30 minutes, which is generally what I do, because a lot of times people don't want their realtor there the entire time. So I like to show up with the pizza and the beer or the wine or whatever we're eating and drinking, whether it's a catered event or pizza, it doesn't matter. I personally like to actually go get the items and bring them through the door myself. I don't order delivery. I don't get something catered. I'm telling you, this is very important. You walk in with all of the stuff. This gives you a chance to mingle with everybody. They've been on the phone with you. They've seen your emails and now you get some one-on-one -on -one time with them and I try to leave in about 30 minutes unless they really really enjoy me being there or really want me to stay outside of that I'm just there to make introductions and get out of there and I'm doing this so it doesn't feel stuffy like oh my realtors here we can't really let loose have a good time like we don't know who this guy is right there's kind of an outsider there especially if they're a tight-knit group of friends and the magic kicker right at the end, right before you leave the house, make sure you take a couple of really good photos. You've been there for about 30 minutes. Everybody should be there by now, even the folks that are generally consistently pretty late. Take a great photo of everybody and then leave. Now that you've got the photo, make sure that you email those out a couple of days afterwards and don't make it about you again. Make it about the client and just say, hey, so-and-so really wanted to thank you for coming over. Here's that photo that we took. I hope everything is well. P.S. If you ever need anything real estate related, please don't hesitate to give me a call. And if you really wanna put the icing on the cake here, call everybody afterwards and ask them if they would like one of these photos framed and mailed to them personally. Now, if that topic made you guys a little bit squeamish, a little bit nervous about meeting all these new people, don't worry, I've got one for you. For the people that like to just build deep relationships with their clients and not have a whole bunch of their sphere of influence around. For this one, it's very, very simple. I pick their favorite food or my favorite place if I don't know what their favorite food is, and I take them to dinner. I create an experience. I make this a full dinner. I only do this with people I really vibed with. If not, it's kind of awkward. If it was just sort of a transaction for both parties, you guys didn't really get to build that relationship as you were going, I would omit this one. But if you did, and they're your kind of people, Take them to dinner, make it fun, make it a two, three hour dinner. Enjoy wine and laughing and drinks and food and whatever. I know I said wine and drinks, but you get my point. Now for clients that bought a pool home, getting a custom pool kind of gift for them is going to keep you top of mind with them every time they're splashing around in that pool that you help them find. And it's also going to show them that you really know what is valuable to them. Somebody that's buying a pool home is doing that for a reason. So for me, I like doing a custom tub or a custom cooler. I'm going to have a few links down below and we should be showing pictures on here. There are some on Etsy that are fairly inexpensive. You can get them under a hundred bucks. They're beautiful, made of wood, has their stuff engraved, or if you want something that lasts a little bit longer, you can get one of the metal tubs that is completely custom engraved. This way, it's showing that, hey, you've got a great gift. But what's really cool about this is the two reasons the kids are running in and out of the pool all the time is one, to go to the bathroom, and two, to get drinks and snacks. Well, if you have a tub out there with stuff, with drinks and snacks, then there's no reason they should be running in and out except to use a potty. And now that means less water intrusion, less mess after the end of everything. Trust me, they're going to enjoy this gift for years to come. 
Now for this next closing gift, this is one that's gonna create a lasting memory forever, but it does have to be done to the right people. A memorable closing gift is one that leaves a lasting impression, and it reminds your clients of the phenomenal experience they had and constantly reminds them every time they see this gift. So for the category of best memorable client gift, my suggestion is a photographer. Not just any photographer, not just one out of the beach, although if that's what they want, they can definitely do that or in the mountains or whatever you have in your area, but preferably one that showcases off the home. So I suggest coaching a photographer through this and letting them know the kind of shots that you kind of want and then getting them over to the house and taking some outside of the house, you know, holding a little just close sign or just moved in sign and then maybe some inside of them playing games, you know, uh, playing in the pool, doing whatever they do and give your photographer a list of different ideas and have them run that by the client. I would have your photographer completely coached on a bunch of different shots that they can take and then have them pick five or six of them. Not just one outside that says like, hey, we bought a new home holding a cool sign, but also of them playing in the pool, playing in the yard that they have, a cool family photo up the stairs, them sitting around the fireplace, them playing with s'mores or something, game night. Now, once you have all of the shots that the photographer did, email all of them to them, but then take your favorite one, throw it in a frame, and find a time to swing by the house to give it to them. So if this way, they don't wanna go through the hassle of getting any of them printed and put on a frame. You've already got one thrown in a frame for them. They're going to love it, throw it up, and it might remind them to print out some of the other ones to put up as well. And because you emailed it to them with full rights, of course, now they can blast that out to their social media. So I like to do a little snippet in there inside of the email that basically says, hey, you know, if you want to throw this on social, that's perfectly fine. These are 100% yours to keep. Have this as a coupon completely done ahead of time and then gift it to them at closing and they can use it for whatever they want. So if they do want to go to the beach, they do want to go to the mountains, they want to go to a serene looking place and do shots too, that's perfectly fine. The intent is still there and they're still going to think of you every single time they see that photo so do whatever it is or have the photographer do whatever it is that makes the most sense for the client so that they will continue to use it and showcase it off on their mantle Whew, that was a whole bunch listen if you guys got value out of this don't forget to sub and like and all of those fun things and of course if you have any questions about why i moved my entire team over to lpt realty all of my contact information will pop up on the screen right here. You can call, text, or go to the Calendly link down below and book time right with me so that I can discuss LPT opportunities with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a long one. I hope you got some value out of it, and I guess I'll see you guys later.